Hello, we'd like to tell you about something amazing, something that will change your idea of how websites are made. Imagine software that creates websites in seconds. NicePage works just like a real designer. You provide images and text, and NicePage designs a website. If you can use Microsoft PowerPoint or Apple Keynote, you can use NicePage. NicePage is available online as a Windows application and as a plugin for WordPress or Joomla. In the Windows version, you can export for WordPress and Joomla. You can start with a blank website or use almost any source. For example, start with the image search. Enter or select a keyword. Select images. Choose any auto-generated design. Another example, you have an Instagram account with your favorite photos. Log into your account. You see there are some nice pictures here. Select images. And now, let NicePage do the magic. Do you recognize those photos? NicePage Intelligent Design Service used the Instagram posts and turned them into sections. It's easy to use, fast, and each newly built design is unique. It saves time and therefore money. Now, let's use Facebook. Select post images. Select a design. Voila! you have images on your local folder. Run Builder. Upload images by dragging them into the NicePage Builder. Select Post Images. Click Next. You will see designs built from the uploaded images. The designs you see are not pre-made templates. Everything is created on the fly in seconds. Unbelievable, isn't it? Select a page design, then click Next. Select colors for a page. Hovering allows to preview changes immediately. Select a font scheme and a typography. Click Done to add a page to the website. Let's briefly review the user interface of NicePage. There is a top bar containing page list, website settings, theme settings, add menu at the center, responsive modes, preview and publish to the right. Let's add another page. Open Pages, Add Page. Besides builders, there are many pre-made examples provided by our designer community. Let's select this one. In the theme setting to the top, select Color Palette. Select a font scheme. The font was selected based on statistics for the most popular Google fonts and combinations. Select a typography. The fine tuning is done in the headings and texts. The website navigator to the left allows to operate sections. Sections are the building blocks of modern web design. Click any section to select. Each section has a menu. Select duplicate to copy the current selection. Move this section by dragging it under another one. If you don't need this section, select the Delete from the Section menu. To work with Section in the Navigator is similar to work with Slides in Microsoft PowerPoint or Apple Keynote. Now, let's add several sections. NicePage allows building sections from scratch, using pre-designed sections or generating sections with the builders. Add a new section. Select Builder. For the section, again, you can search images online, use images from social accounts or your local folder. Upload images by dragging them into the NicePage Builder. Select images for the section. Select texts. Then select a style from auto-generated variants. Finally, add this section to your page. Add a new section. There are over a thousand pre-designed sections available, and all those sections have a unique design and a layout. Select a thematic category at the top. Then choose a section style to the left. Categories and styles filter the output results. Click Done to apply. If you change your mind or you don't like the style you have just selected, you can easily choose another one. Add more spacing. The section editor is the center of NicePage. Here, you can add, move, position, and align various controls. Clicking Elements in the editor, we see the properties change in the panel to the right. Altering the parameters modifies a selected element. In addition, in the panel, you can switch tabs to navigate to a container or a section. 
Again, using Nice Page is very simple. It's similar to working in Microsoft PowerPoint or Apple Keynote. At that, you get the clean code and the responsive HTML in the output. Let's assume that you don't like variants built with builders and the pre-designed ideas are not enough. You have your own section that you drew in a graphic editor, for example, Adobe Photoshop. Let's use this section as an example. Add a blank section. Change the section height. The readability is very important for a web page. The content area is called sheet and it's marked with the dashed lines. It is recommended to place the content between these lines. All added controls are found in the Add menu. Open the Add menu. There are containers, basic, and functional controls. To create section with cells, we need a grid. Grids are flexible and very useful for the responsive modes. As for smaller screens, the cells are reorganized one under another automatically. Select Grid. Shrink the grid height. Move the grid up. While moving, you see the snapping guides and sizes and boxes that help to align. Replace the images by dragging from your local folder. Add spacing to separate cells visually. Select the cell to the left. Change the cell background from image fill to color fill. Select another cell. Change the crop of the background image. Collapse the image to make it a part of the content and expand image back to the cell background. Switch cells by dragging one cell over another. The destinations, a cell, a container, or a section are highlighted with the borders. Also, there is a tip above the destination cell. Copy the cell by dragging while holding the control key. If you change your mind to clear the content, select the cell, then click the delete key. Enable the cell fill in the panel. Change the fill color to light gray. Add an icon. Click add and select icon. In the dialog, enter idea into the search field. Select the linear light bulb icon. There are many icon presets. Select the circled one. Note that the colors used in the presets are from the palette selected in theme colors. Add heading 2. Click add text heading 2. Modify the heading text. Change the text size and the spacing between letters. If needed, undo the changes by selecting the default text style from the list in the panel. The styles in this list are set in theme, heading, and text. Add a text, click Add Text Text. Select a part of this text and make it bold and italic. Select another part, then add a hyperlink. Add button, alternatively, click the small plus at the top right at the cell corner. Buttons also have presets. We need the bordered one. Make all letters in the uppercase, smaller and bold. Modify the button text. Alignment and consistency are important design principles. Note again, while moving, there are guides and sizes helping to follow those principles. Also a reminder, dragging elements, there are highlighted cells with above tips clarifying the control placing. Auto-align the content vertically. You see, the results are achieved easier and quicker than drawing the section mock-up in Adobe Photoshop. We have finished adding sections. No modern design is considered complete if it's not responsive for modern devices, mainly for the mobile ones. Now, here's the magic. Clicking the responsive mode icons, you see the whole page looks nice in all modes. It was all done automatically. Amazing, isn't it? In all responsive modes, all editing features are supported. Let's change the crop of the image, then the heading size. You may hide any cell, let's say for this phone view, then show it back in one click. After you've made your changes, click Preview to review the page. If you are satisfied with everything, you can publish your website to show it to a client or to see it for yourself. Click Publish. After the publication, open your website clicking the generated URL. We see that to use Nice Page is simple. It's like working in Microsoft PowerPoint or Apple Keynote. 
The results are the clean code and the fully responsive HTML. As a reminder, in the desktop version, you can export for WordPress and Joomla. Click the link in the description below this video to try how it all works for yourself. If you enjoyed this video, click like and subscribe for more videos to boost your design experience. Please leave comments on how we can make this all better. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.